If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications on new videos. Let's, Let's go. go! Hello, Number Block fans. Today we have the new Number Blocks Puzzle Solver game set. We're going to open and explore the toy and also count to 10 using different Number Block methods. So this set comes with 50 puzzles of play and four levels. And on the side, you can see that there is number blocks 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 space on the side. And then on the other side, we have 1 block, 2 blocks, 3 blocks, 4 blocks, 5 blocks. So we'll go ahead and see what is inside this new number block toy. So here is the number block puzzle solver. So it has a lid on, so you can put the cards underneath and use the tiles to play on top. And here is the instructions, so it tells you everything that's included and how to use the set. Here are the 50 playing cards with the four different levels. The first ones are about counting to 10 and the other levels are about adding up and they're all different difficulties. And last but not least, we have all the different colored tiles for the number blocks. So we have a few ones, and then we have some twos and they're double sided so the faces can fit in different ways. Then we have some different shaped threes as three can make more shapes. Then the same with four. Four has more shapes as he has more blocks. And then we have the most shapes for number block five. As the more blocks you have, the more shapes you can make. All of the number block tiles, the playing cards and the instructions can be neatly stored back into the handy carry case. So we'll go ahead and start to explore ways of counting to 10. So here we have the first sheet and as you can see it's all about number block one. So first we'll go ahead and put the one tile on top of the picture in the groove. And one is the same as one number block. One is just one single cube, just like the number block one action figure. And one has one circle eye because a circle is a shape with one continuous side. You can also count with the number blobs. So here is one red number blob for number one. We can also count to one on our hands. So at the minute it's showing 10, so let's show one. And that was number block one. So if we go ahead and flip the page underneath, we have number block two. So we'll go ahead and put the matching number block two on the grooves, which is the same as a math link cube two. And two has one, two blocks. Here is our number block two action figure, having two blocks, two eyes, and two dancing shoes. We can also count to two with the number blobs. One number blob, two number blob. And lastly, we can count to two on our hands. So currently we have one finger or thumb up. So we have one, two. So if we go ahead and take out this card and put in number block three's card, we will go ahead and put the matching shape of number three on top of number block three's picture. So here is number block three. Number block three has three blocks, a three pointed crown, and three juggling ball buttons. We can also count to three using the number blobs. One, two, three. Three number blobs. We can also count to three on our hands. So we have one, two, three. Three fingers up. And here is our number block three is a math link cube with three yellow blocks. So we'll go ahead and take out the page of number block three, turn it over, and we have number block four's page. So we're going to find the correct tile that matches with the four shape in the grid, which is this number four as a square. 
Number four can also be a number four MathLink cube. Again, as a special kind of rectangle, a square. A square is a special kind of rectangle where all sides are the same length. And here is our action figure, number block four, as a square. However, you might recognise him as a one by four rectangle. We can also use the number blobs to count to four. One, two, three, four. We can also count to four on our hands. One, two, three, four. So that was number block four's page. If we go ahead and take it out, we can put in number block five. So we'll go ahead and put the number block five tile that fits the picture onto the grid. Here is number block five's action figure. High five. And of course, here is Five's rocking Five Star Guitar. And of course, Five is... Five blue number blocks. We can also count to five with the number blobs. One number blob, two number blobs, three number blobs, four number blobs, five number blobs. And of course, we can count to five with our hands. One two, three, four, five. That's one hand with all its fingers up and one with all of the fingers down. So if we go ahead and take out number five and turn the page over to number block six. So because the set only comes with tiles from one to five, we're going to use two lots of three tiles because that equals Six. And here's our number block six as a MathLink cube with six indigo blocks. And here is six as our action figure. And as you can see, she also has six light blue dice spots. We can also count to number six with our number blobs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six number blobs. We can also count to six on our hands. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll take this card out and put in the next card which has number block seven on. Because we don't have any seven tiles, we will use one to five. So you could make seven up in lots of different ways, such as five plus two, three plus two plus two, or four plus three. There are many ways you can make seven. And here is our number block seven as a MathLink cube. And here is number block seven in his regular tall one by seven form. And of course, we can also count to seven using our number blobs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven number blobs. We can also count to seven on our hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven fingers are up. So we'll go ahead and flip the game sheet over. And on the other side, it has number block eight. Again, we don't have the correct tiles as the set only comes from one to five. So we're going to make eight in lots of different ways. Of course, you could do four by four or two plus two plus four, four plus two plus one plus one, four plus one plus three, five plus two plus one. Every way equals number block eight. And here he is in his two by four column. And here is our number block eight action figure. Octoblock count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, count. You can also count to number block eight using the number blobs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight number blobs. And of course we can count on our hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that was number block eight. If we go ahead and take out this sheet, we can put in the last of the 
counting sheets or level one sheets and it is number block nine again we have to make up the tiles for number block nine so you could build it with a five two and another two or three plus two plus one plus three four plus three plus one plus one five plus three plus one all of them will add up to number block nine here is number block nine as an action figure he is in his three by three form which is also a square just like number block four we can also count to nine with our number blobs one two three four five six seven eight nine nine number blobs and of course we will count on our hands to nine one two three four five six seven eight nine nine fingers up and one down so now we'll go ahead and turn over the page to number block 10 so like before we don't have any number block tiles past 10 so we're going to make our 10 with a 4 and 3 plus 3 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1 2 threes plus 2 twos 4 plus 2 twos plus 2 ones a 5 a 4 and a 1 or a 5 3 and a 2 all equal number block 10 and here is our number block 10 double high five we can also count to 10 with our number blobs 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 number blobs and lastly we'll count on our hands to 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 now all fingers are up so that was it for the first level of the pages the next pages are all games at three different levels so we'll do one of each this is the first level so it tells you what pieces you need to put on the board so we need to put a five a four and a three in that exact position then on the other side it tells us which pieces we need to fill in so we need to fill it in with a two and two ones so now we will move on to the next level and we will put on all the number block figure puzzles what are marked on the board then at the side it says we can use a one a two a three and a four in those shapes so we need to go ahead and figure out where they can all fit together lastly on the hardest levels it still marks out where you put the pieces on on the game and it also gives you what you will need such as the one the two the four and the two fives however it also has a little question mark so you also have to figure out what else fits onto the page so you go ahead and put in what is first recommended then you can try and use the other spare tiles to try and fill in the gaps and that's our completed level and that was the end of today's video we hope you enjoyed learning all about the numbers 1 to 10 with us today with the number blocks and learning all about number puzzles and patterns with the number block puzzle explorer hope to see you again next time bye bye hello if you enjoyed today's video please like subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications on new videos bye bye